So the city of Boston in the late 1960s is furiously trying to reinvent itself and redevelop itself. And here in Boston's South End, the city demolished a number of traditional brick row houses and their plan was to build a big luxury development that would bring higher incomes and higher tax revenues to the city. They demolished first and then were awaiting the construction when a group of neighborhood activists led by Mel King, a longtime South Ender, whose home had been taken during the first redevelopment of Boston in the late 1950s, and he led a protest as the neighbors pitched tents on this site that was then being used as a parking lot to protest the city's eviction of people in the interest of redevelopment. And they gave notices out to the commuters who couldn't park there explaining the situation. King was arrested, others were arrested as the city didn't want anything to thwart the redevelopment plan, but ultimately King and the South End community prevailed. In 1991, finally, this new development, which is a mixed use, a residential building that accommodates people of a variety of incomes opened here on the intersection of Dartmouth Street and Columbus Ave. And appropriately, it is called Tent City in recognition of the community that had rallied to prevent overdevelopment and one of Boston's protests against the ravages of urban renewal.